What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Nike Hyperset Men's Volleyball Shoe, which is Nike's latest volleyball shoe release. You'll recognize a good number of professional volleyball players wearing the Nike Hyperset shoe, so they are quickly gaining popularity. If you want to try your own pair of the Hyperset shoe or any other volleyball shoe, then use my discount code linked below to get 5% off your entire purchase at my favorite online volleyball store, All Volleyball. Let's see what this shoe looks like straight out of the box. The Nike Hyperset Volleyball shoe looks more like a basketball shoe in terms of the bulkier build, longer tongue, a more prominent sole that rises higher, and unique bubbly shape of the sole. These are all aspects that are not typical for a volleyball shoe. It has a strap that goes across the upper of the shoe at an angle with their slogan written across it, and is also a continuation of the Nike logo, which is a cool touch. If you guys remember my review from the Adidas Explosive Bounce shoe, I'm personally not a fan of shoe straps because they end up restricting movement in the midfoot, makes the shoe feel bulkier, and just feels like a fashion aspect of the shoe and not very functional. The Velcro also usually frays the shoelaces and just adds another step for putting the shoe on. Unfortunately, the strap of the Hyperset was exactly all the things I don't like about a strap. The only way I can envision a strap actually being useful is if it was made of a flexible material so it does provide some extra security but also some give to move with the foot. Also it just looks bad with this design because you already have a bulky looking shoe and then you have this extra thin strap. The upper material on the outside is very soft and breathable all the way around and much thicker than any other volleyball shoe I've worn. The padding is a little too thick for my foot, partly due to my feet being wide. Even then, my foot still felt way too tight to the point of feeling suffocated. In terms of the performance, the traction actually felt great. The tread pattern does a good job of biting into the floor, so it felt easy to change direction quickly. I particularly like the rounded edges of the sole, which is something I see more in basketball shoes. This allows your shoe to seamlessly transition from any angle, which is important for getting low on defense or landing awkwardly from a jump. The ankle support is excellent for all types of quick and powerful movements due to how wide the sole is. I love the rubber material on the bottom, which is the same rubber as one of my other favorite volleyball shoes, the Nike Air Zoom Hyper Attacks. I wish more volleyball shoes had this type of traction. I actually like it more than the A6 Sky Elite shoe, which is almost too sticky to where my foot gets stuck to the floor sometimes. The Hyperset is a perfect balance between just enough slide and just enough bite on the floor. The sole is made with Nike React technology, which you see mostly in the running shoes. The sole is fairly thick compared to the typical volleyball shoe and the rubber is also fairly stiff. This makes the shoe very responsive when jumping, but just okay for shock absorption. Although it's still not as bouncy as the Nike Zoom technology from the Hyper Attacks and Kobe 6s, which is still my favorite combination of responsiveness, bounciness, and shock absorption. If you want a very soft feel when you're landing, then I recommend going with the A6 Sky Elite shoe. Overall, I was really looking forward to the Nike Hyperset Volleyball shoe because I had such a great experience with the Nike Air Zoom Hyper Attacks and the Hyper Ace 2 Volleyball shoes. Unfortunately, it was just too tight and uncomfortable to wear. If you remember from one of my practice videos recently, the shoe actually cut into the inside of my ankle where it started bleeding 
and this happened on multiple occasions. So the edge started cutting into my ankle and started bleeding. I think because my wide feet and I just have <laughs> probably thicker ankles. I think it was due to the top of this stupid strap. Now, if some of the top players in the world are wearing these shoes, it must be comfortable for certain athletes. Maybe athletes who have long and skinny feet and thin ankles. I really wanted to like this shoe. The performance is definitely there, but the comfort is lacking. I still think it's worth testing at your local shoe store because in terms of performance, it's very responsive, has excellent support, and very durable. But I must be honest, it was one of the most uncomfortable shoes I've worn in a long time. But that just might be me and my wide feet and ankles. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite volleyball shoe brand is and why. Make sure you watch all my other volleyball shoe review videos linked in the playlist below. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.